Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Tech Chainsaw Massacre of the Game video. Today, I want to go over Danny's ability. I mean, in our live stream yesterday, we had quite literally hundreds of questions asking about what Danny's ability is, what does it do, what does an inspecting an item do, how effective is tampering the objectives, how useful is Danny? Is he worth it? Is he a good character? Let's talk about this ability because after playing him and getting used to Danny, he is extremely powerful and can be unbelievably useful inside of a squad. And you know, I've been wondering why they went so over the top of these valve changes to the point where it, the valve became a very family sided objective. It completely changed the slaughterhouse up. I was wondering why they went so over the top of those changes. And Danny is exactly why I think. I think they were trying to plan ahead when it came to just how powerful Danny is with his ability and why they decided to make the valve quite a bit harder. Let's dive into this. Let's talk about how good Danny really is. Now, Danny's ability is called Study in Tamper, which allows him to tamper escape objectives and make it where family can no longer turn them on or off, right? On paper, that sounds extremely powerful, and that's because it is. The catch is it does take a little bit of work, right? You have to know what you're doing, and it does take some time and some patience and some stealth to pull off Danny's ability, but when you do, it's powerful and with time you can actually do it pretty quickly. So Danny can inspect mechanical devices across the map like radios, televisions, toolbox, lamps, etc. That's nothing more than that. You're just inspecting them and every time you would inspect one of those items, you gain a little bit of knowledge. Knowledge. Now knowledge on Danny allows you just to tamper objectives faster. Okay, so when you do actually get to the point where you're going to tamper one of these objectives like the valve or the fuse box, battery generator, you can apply your knowledge to the mini game meter and tamper those faster. So the more knowledge you get, the faster you can tamper. And tampering without knowledge does take quite a long time. It does a lot of clicks. You're gonna need time. You're gonna need family away from you. It's not easy. Imagine having extremely low proficiency and no one escapes hell at the same time trying to unlock a padlock. It's like that. It's very difficult. And that's what it's like when you're trying to tamper something without knowledge. Now, you don't necessarily need knowledge to tamper an objective, but I think you're gonna want it because on top of actually playing that mini game, to tamper an objective, you actually have to inspect it first, okay? So if you want to tamper the fuse box or the valve or things like that and keep them on, you have to inspect it first, which also takes a little bit of time. The good news is though, when you do inspect an item like that, like the valve or the fuse box, a bigger objective, you do get a lot more knowledge than you ever would from like an unlock tool or a valve handle or something like that. You get quite a bit of knowledge when doing those bigger objectives like that. But where things do change a little bit, and I think this is where Danny's ability becomes really powerful, is that you don't actually have to take part in the objective itself. You don't have to turn the fuse box on or turn the valve on or turn the generator off to actually tamper it. So as you can see in this clip right here, I'm working on the valve. I'm inspecting it. Once I get it inspected, I put the valve handle on. And then the first thing I do, instead of turning it on right away, I tamper it, okay? And when I tamper it, it automatically turns the valve on. It'll do the same thing with fuse box, it'll do the same thing with generator or battery, it'll turn those off. If you inspect it and then you tamper it, you don't actually have to do the mini game or you don't actually do the objective. It automatically does not it, it's automatically tampered. And now that I have this valve tampered, there's nothing the family can do to shut it off. It's going no matter what, and that valve exit is going to open. You see Leatherface here, he's trying, he is actually confused, he doesn't understand why he can't turn the valve off, and that's why this power is so incredibly useful. And you're gonna see it on squads, you know, you throw Danny into the mix of a victim squad, a good victim squad, he's going to be insanely powerful and insanely useful. And like I said, I think that's why they went and they adjusted the valve as much as they did, where family could turn it off faster, the depressurizer, things like that. They really adjusted it where they want you to use Danny. They want Danny to be a useful character. So yeah, it's actually kind of adding to the whole pay to win thing we talk about. But again, Danny, it, it takes a lot of work. If you want to be good with Danny, it takes a lot of work. But once you get it, wow, is that powerful. Even more so when you do it on the fuse, that door just stays open. You do it on the fuse box, that door is staying open and there's nothing they can do about it. Really, really, useful ability you just got to be patient you got to be stealthy and it is top-notch stuff 
So that's Danny's ability. I hope that made some sense to you if you haven't played him yet or you've been weary on purchasing him or just want to know more about the new victim. There you go. His ability, study and tamper, extremely useful and is probably going to lead to a whole lot of Danny tunneling. I don't blame any family that's doing it. You see Danny and you tunnel him. I don't blame you at all. It's the same way that people tunnel Connie, right? You don't want locks popping off. You don't want things being tampered. Get them the hell out of the game. It makes complete sense. It's a strategy, all right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's going to wrap this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.